So hello guys, welcome to Andy Video. In this video, I'm going to show you this new Resurrection Remix OS on this Moto G second generation. So let's get started. So first of all, there's a Pixel launcher here. You can choose any of the launcher like a stock launcher or Pixel launcher. These are three new soft button icons that are looking pretty good. And there are certain application like Omni Switch is available in this ROM. And these are no good basic settings. And this is the section for update of resurrection you can go to version 10.1.1 and here the logo of resurrection here so now we will go to customization of the ROM so there are basic customization for this ROM that are looking pretty good so let's see what the basic customization so you can add the brand logo here for example here the brand logo this brand logo you can change the color of the brand logo too and you can set the other brand logo too for example custom logo also there you can change the logo you can change the color of the logo for example the weather logo you can smiley tag add a smiley tag weather candy cane and lots of logo here I will set the fish logo white fish So here, this is in the battery section. Nothing new or that. Yeah, you can set the color for the battery charging, low level, and all that. And here, the system icon option. You can show the 4G branding here. And branding it's in system mode. 4G mode here instead of 3G. Notification clicker and the other normal settings. You can uh, tune the system too. In the panel section, there is notification panel stroke and stroke. For example, this stroke here. You can add the shade, you can set the thickness, and all that. And I think that it is looking so bad. We will change it later. We have to restart actually. In the header section, you can customize the header, this image, inside the image. Plan and multi-user switch settings are all there here. There is a volume panel for this. You can change the timeout and the stroke color for this volume. Mm, the color section settings. In the recent, you can change the general UI. So you can show the clock and memory bar and all that. There are settings for Omni Switch too. There is a quick animation section. So animation style you can see flip then they will run after it restart yeah so we are on the quick setting so quick pull down is also there smart pull down the new settings actually and in the advanced section you can brightness icon this brightness icon or auto brightness icon brightness slider like the cyanogen and the brightness is so high you can on the wi-fi easy toggle bluetooth toggle and all that in the lock screen you can set the gestures too for example tap double double screen tap but i think this will not work on this Moto G yeah will it work in K3 and small phones here lock UI you can change the UI of the lock screen and the body shortcut yeah these things are also available in some of the ROM now and the shortcut is removed so now this weather option security option you can see and set the notification count of the lock screen Click the lock key. Unlock automatically when the correct pin password enter. Okay. So now in the gesture, you can gesture it anywhere. See, okay, we have this on the panel. For example, I have had a gesture of uh, the contact.
should be in developer options app developer also there file control is only for show file control here on the right see the buttons or this power menu Lot of button here. Now we're gonna have the flashlight. Okay, so you can select too many things. You can off the airplane mode. And the flashlight. And here is the animation system animation. You can change system animation too. You can disable the animation and you can actively open the close and that's it. Install the modifiers. Actually there are a lot of customization in this ROM so I'm not going in deep in the uh, configuration of the customization, but here I will give you an overlook of this. So the warning icon, all the settings are here. Wake lock blocker is also there here. Here alarm the block. Sorry, not alarm the block, just block the alarm. And you can admin display is also there. And that will stay there. And you can set the fade out time too. Here the dashboard settings for this. So this is the whole tutorial for this. Please suggestions when it's OS for